my mama told me Make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely Once I was seven years old It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker Writing songs, I started writing stories Something about that glory Just always seemed to bore me Cause only those I really love Will ever really know me Once I was 20 years old My story got told Before the morning sun When life was lonely Once I was 20 years old This is your grand great-grandmother you are the fourth generation in this family, Jace, and we wish you all of the happiness, and I hope that all of your dreams that you have been dreaming come true. God bless you. See you later. Once I was 20 years old, my story got told. I was writing about everything I saw before me. Say congratulations to Jace Bass and here's hoping that he'll continue and that this is the beginning of something real big. Congratulations. Congratulations, nephew. I love you so much. So, so proud of you. And we are in great expectation of all the great things that God has in store for you, all the accomplishments that you're going to achieve. We love you. We're here for you. God bless you and keep pushing forward. Congratulations. Congratulations, I love you always. I'm glad we're finally here at this moment and I'm waiting, I'm looking forward to the next step and I'm just so happy for you. I'm proud of you, I love you always and you know I have your back 100%. Love you, keep God first. Jace. Uh, you want me to scream at you, Jace? They want me to scream at you because you did such a great job this year. All the trials, all the tribulations, all the things that you went through this year, man. I'm very proud of you. I'm excited for you. Uh, you learned a lot, I'm sure. And we look forward to the uh, next step. Uh, I'm here for you. Anything you need, you know I love you, man. Hey, yo, the world going to show me some love. Listen, and I'm not talking about the fake hugs and kissing. In 15 years, a lot of love is missing. I love you. Love you. Yay. 
Congratulations, Jinx. We are so very proud of you. Congratulations, Jace. We love you. Um, this is such a momentous time for you. A great milestone. You've done good. You've worked hard. Um, this is just a this is just a great opportunity that we can all share as a family and uh, celebrate you. Uh, you're gonna be great in all that you do. Just continue to keep your head up. Stay strong. Let these situations that may not have been so great going through, let them fuel you to continue to do better. I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless you and congratulations. Jace, if God be for us, who can be against us? What a mid-year uh, event we've had from December through year end. I know you worked really hard. I'm really proud of you. Um, I am so looking forward to the next phase of your life as you venture on and head to college um, and all the excitement that that will bring. So as your mom said, keep God first. Um, you know who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you were called to be. Um, we love you. We are excited for you. God bless you. Bye. Uh, congratulations, Jace. Uh, keep your head up and keep working hard at sports. Show me some love, I'm gonna show it right back. I know a tight track, so I throw it like that. My limo driver's white, my attorney black. Show me some Boys and girls, listen up. You can be anything in the world, and God we trust. An architect, doctor, maybe an actress, but nothing comes easy. It takes much practice. Summertime in Virginia was an oven. All the kids eating ice cream with their cousins. I was studying while you was playing the dozens. Dozens. Don't act like you was there when you wasn't running from the man. Wow, this is such a special occasion for me in so many ways because this is actually uh, a celebration of a fourth generation of people in our family pursuing higher education. And Jace, today, let me just tell you, you have actually uh, been the fourth generation. Your great-grandmother graduated from high school 68 years ago. Me, your grandmother graduated 50 years ago on the day that you graduated. And then your dad actually graduated 30 years ago from high school, the same month. And so we're excited about you. We're, we're so filled with great expectations and anticipation of what God is gonna do in your life. And so we, we celebrate you and we thank God for you. Let me just tell you a quick story, Jace, about uh, when you were a baby that I always remember, and I also want you to carry this with you. One day your dad brought you over to the house for me to babysit early in the morning, and I uh, was quite sleepy, <laughs> but when he brought you in, you were crying, I mean, nonstop. And, and I knew it was because you wanted to be with your mommy because you loved your mother. Everywhere she went, that's where you wanted to be. So I knew you did not want to be here. You didn't want to be anywhere but with your mommy, Nina. But you were crying and crying. I couldn't get you to stop. But eventually your dad had to leave. He left. We got back in the bed because it was very early. I was just going to get a few more winks. And you were in the bed, but you continued to cry. And I turned over and I, I looked at you as if to say, if you don't stop crying. So when, when I said that to you, you all of a sudden stopped crying and you began to take these deep breaths like, <laughs> and to me, it sounded like you were saying, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. And I looked at you and I said, yes, call on him because you need him right now. <laughs> and so that was just a funny little uh, connection and a sort of a bonding that we had there. Because to me, 
that was significant because I see you as a man of God, a young man who will continue to go through your life calling on Jesus. And that's what I want you to do. I want to encourage you, Chase, with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul and your strength to call on the name of Jesus. Because Jesus' name is the name above every name and it is the name that you want to carry you through life. And I have some scriptures here that I want to read for you or share with you as you um, watch this video or as you read the word. Consider this in Deuteronomy 31, 6, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of your enemies for the Lord your God goes before you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And in 1 Timothy 4 and 12, Paul admonishes Timothy, who was his spiritual son, he said, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Instead, you set an example for the believers through your speech, through your behavior, through your love, your faith, and your purity. And finally, Chase, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, Jace, you have within you the strength, the patience, the purpose of God Almighty, and the passion to reach for the highest goals to change this world for good. God bless you, grandson. I'm so proud of you, and I love you.